Welcome back to Grade 4 Go Math. This is Grade 4 Go Math Unit 2 Multiply by One Digit. This is Lesson 2.7 Multiply Using Partial Products. This is Lesson 2.7, Multiply Using Partial Products. Our essential question is, how can you use place value in partial products to multiply by a one-digit number? Well, it says connect. How can you use what you know about the distributive property to break apart numbers to find products of a three-digit and a one-digit number? Well, we're going to use place value. If we multiply 6 times 182, we can estimate that as 6 times 200 equal 12, equaling 1,200. So let's look at step one. It says shade the model. 6 times 100, all right? Look over here. It says 6 times 100. That is not the number one. That is the number 100. 6 times 100 is 600. Now it says 6 times 80. Look at the 8 in the tens place. 6 times 80 is 480. So it would be 600, 480. Now it says 6 times 2. 6 times 2 is 12. 600 plus 480 plus 12. So 182 times 6 equals 600 plus 480 plus 12. That equals 1,092. So 6 times 182 equals 1,092. And since, since 1,092 is close to the estimate of 1,200, it is reasonable. All right, look at the reasoning. It says, how can you use the distributive property to find 4 times 257? Well, that's easy. It would be 4 times 200 plus 50 plus 7. That would be 4 times 200 is 800. 4 times 50 is 200. 4 times 7 is 28. That equals 1,028. Look at the two ways that we just multiplied uh, a one-digit uh or three digit by one digit, okay? We did the distributive property, and then we used partial uh, place value and partial products, all right? Six times 100, 600. Six times 80, 480. So it'd be 600 plus 480. Six times two is 12. So now we have 600 plus 480 plus 12. That equals 1,092. Go to the next page. Boys and girls, please make sure you're filling in your workbook um, as we're doing this. Here's an example. It says use place value and partial products. Multiply two times 4,572. We'll estimate two times 5,000 uh, 5, is what? Two times 5,000 is, I didn't put that in there, so I'm going to get that in there, 10,000. So I'm going to get that in there, 10. Thousand one, two, three. I forgot to get that in there. Get my comma in there. All right. So now it says four. Or I'm sorry. Two times four thousand is eight thousand. Two times five hundred is a thousand. Two times seventy is 140. 2 times 2 is 4. When I add all of that up, I get 9,144. All right? So let's look the share and show. Let's do this together. Use the model to find 2 times 137. It would be 2 times 100 is 200, 2 times 30 is 60, 2 times 7 is 14. I add it up and I get 274. 
Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to look at estimate, then record the product. Okay, so 190 is close to 200. So 200 times 3, I'm going to estimate that as 600. So now I would say 3 times 100 is 300. 3 times 90 is 270. 3 times 0 is 0. My answer is 570. And that is probably correct because my estimate was 600. All right, 471 times 4. I'm going to say that 471 is closer to 500. So 500 times 4 would be 2,000. So we say 4 times 400 is 1,600. 4 times 70 is 280. 4 times 1 is 4. I add that up. And my answer is 1,884. And that is good because my estimate was 2,000. Now let's look at 3,439. Um, 3, um, is 3,439 closer to 3,000 or 4,000? It's closer to 3,000. So I'm going to say 7 times 3,000 is 21,000. All right. 7 times 3,000 is 21,000. 7 times 400 is 2,800. 7 times 30 is 210. 7 times 9 is 63. If I add it all up, I get 2,473. And what do you think? Is that a good estimate? That is a good estimate. And so my answer, I'm sorry, is that a good answer? Yes, the answer is correct because it is close to my estimate. Okay, we're going to do three more and then you are going to work these down here on your own. I'm not going to worry about the estimate right now. Okay, don't worry about the estimate. All right, $53 times four. Four times 50 is 200. Four times three is 12. My answer is $212, okay? 473 times nine. Nine times 400 is 3,600. Nine times seven is 630. Nine times three is 27. My answer is $4,257. 608 times six. 6 times 600 is 3,600. 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 8 is 48. My answer is 3,648. All right, boys and girls, I want you to do these, the rest of these on your own. Now, um, the, these right here are a little different. Um, you're going to need to find the missing add-in, so you're going to have to be working a little bit harder and trying numbers out to figure out what these missing add-ins are. So you're going to do 8, 9, 10, 11, do 12 through 15, and then do 16, 17, 18. Pause the video, complete this page, and then come to the next page to check your answers. Okay, we have a lot to go over. Let's look at the first question. Uh, 2 times 78, I estimated 160 because 78 is close to 80. So 78 times 2. 2 times 70 is 140. 2 times 8 is 16. My answer is 156. 200, 2 times $210, my estimate is 400 because um, 210 is closer to 200. Um, so I said 2 times 200 is 400, 2 times 10 is 20, 420. All right, 9 times $682, I said my estimate was 6300 and that's because um, 682 is closer to 700, and 9 times 700 is 6300. So 9 times 600 is 6300, 9 times 80 is 720, 9 times 2 is 18, my answer is $6,138. All right, 
8 times 8,145. I estimated that to be 6,400 because 8,145 is closer to 8,000 than 9,000. All right, so I went 8 times 8,000 is 6,400. 8 times 8 uh, times 100 is 800. 8 times 40 is 320. 8 times 5 is 40. My answer is 65,160. Okay, on this problem, we needed to find this missing digit. Listen how I did this. I wanted to say 7 times what number here was going to be close to 450. Well, I knew 7 times 50 is 350. I knew 7 times 70 is 490. 350 is not enough. It wouldn't, it, it's not going to be a big enough number. And 490 is more than 455. So that's how I came up with the 6, the 60. 7 times 60 is 420. 7 times 5 is 35. And the answer is 455. So again, look at how I did this. Okay. I didn't know what this number was, so I had to say 7 times what number was going to get close to 450. 7 times 50 is only 350, and 7 times 70 is 490. 7 times 50 is not enough. 7 times 70 is too much. So it would be 7 times 60, 7 times 5. And your answer is 455. That's how I came up with that. Okay, this problem right here was super, super easy. All I had to do was the distributive property to get the 7 for 700. Okay, that's all I had to do. Um, work the distributive property. This problem here was tricky. I don't know what this number is. So what I did was I looked at the 395, and I said 395 is close to 400, right? Okay, if I take 7 times 400, that equals 2,800. Well, that's more than the answer of 2,370. So now if I take 6 times 400, that's 2,400. That's close to 2,000. 370. So now that I know that the 6 is close to that, um, what I do, can do now is the distributive property. 6 times 300, 6 times 90, 6 times 5. I add them all up and I get the answer of 2,000 370. This was a tricky one because I needed to take this 395 and estimate it by 400 and figure out which number, 6 or 7 or 5 or 4 or 8, whatever you put in there, was close to the answer of 2,370. This problem looked hard, but it was easy. I didn't know this number. Well, all I had to do was the distributive property, okay? Um, eight times, I'm sorry, four times 3,000 is 12,000. Four times 700 is 2,800. Four times 40 is 160. Four times eight is 32. When I added all those up, I got that 4 in the 4,000, and the answer was 1,492. Okay, so that wasn't a hard problem. All I needed to do was to distribute a property because I already knew the 3,748 times 4, and all I needed to do was to distribute a property.
Okay, we have three more problems um, and still another page. This is a long lesson. Sorry, boys and girls, but I wanted to make sure that you understand this. And again, if you were getting the answers correct, you don't need to go through the explanation. You can go to the next slide. But here we go. Um, it says a store bought nine cases of light bulbs in May and eight cases in June. There are 48 light bulbs in a case. How many light bulbs did the store buy in May and in June. All you're going to do is 9 times um, 48, 9 times, or then 8 times 48. You add it together and you get eight, 815 light bulbs. Okay, that was a two step problem. Okay, it said, um, Make sure I read that correctly. Yes, I did. All right, Mr. Wilson um, saved. $2,500 to buy airline tickets for his family. He bought six airline tickets for $372 each. How much of his savings does Mr. Wilson have after he buys um, the tickets? Well, you're going to say six times 372 used to distributive property. Subtract that answer from $2,500 and you're going to get the answer of $268. So first I had to take 372 times 6 and I did it through the distributive property. I subtracted it from $2,500 and I got $268. All right, it says Coach Ramirez Coach Ramirez bought eight cases of bottled water for a road race. There are 24 bottles in each case. After the race, 34 bottles of water were left. How many bottles were used at the race and explain? Well, the answer is 158. And so I first found out how many bottles of water there, um, he bought, and that would be 24 times 8, and that equals 192. Remember, I'm going to find that out using the distributed property. There were 34 bottles left over, so I subtracted 34 from 192 to find the number of bottles used. So 192 minus 34 equals 158. Okay, you need to do 19, 20, 21, and 22 on your own. And the answers are on the next slide. Work it out, boys and girls. Pause the video and then start it again when you're ready. Okay, here are the answers to the page. Um, one, to page, what is this? 102. My class, if you got something incorrect and you don't understand why you got it incorrect, ask your parent or contact me and we'll go over it, okay? I'm not going to go over um, these answers with you. Um, if you got it wrong and you don't understand why, contact me or contact your parent. Let your parent know and let your parent work the problems through with you. Here we are with our practice and homework for uh, lesson 2.7. I need you to do page 103. When you're finished, take a um, snapshot of the page. Send it to me. Remember, it is for a grade. Here is page 104, complete page 104. Take a snapshot of it, send it to me. It will go for a grade. Those of you who are being homeschooled without me, make sure that your parents check your work. That is the le uh, end of lesson 2.7. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Awesome Possum Classroom 451. If you would like these worksheets, email me at awesomepossumclassroom at gmail.com and I'll send you the link, um, parents and students. Um, the link is still available. Um, if you would like these worksheets, just let me know and I can get them right over to you. All right. Have a great day and I hope to see you for lesson 2.8.